हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस एंड फ्रेंड्स बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर इनटू दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू मेक यू अश्योर दैट दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी क्वाइट इन्फॉर्मेटिव फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड दिस विल डेफिनेटली एड समथिंग वैल्यूएबल टू योर नॉलेज ड्यूरिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज बी विद मी एंड नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग माई टाइम लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड and the very first question of this virtual interview session is on your screen and the question is will this design work at 68 megahertz and without any violations and friends for your information the design under consideration is a mod 6 counter and i have given all the timing parameters associated with each component in the design for example for free flop the setup time hold time and tcq values are given in this table and delay of not gate and gate and xor gate is given in this second table so everything is available to you and now you have to tell me will this design work at 68 megahertz or there will be any violation friends you can pause my video here take your time to think of its answer otherwise i will reveal its answer okay let me reveal its answer friends if you see the design very carefully There are total six register to register paths. The first path is Q zero going to the input of the same flop, and the second path is Q zero going to the input of the second flop, and the third path is Q zero going to the input of the third flop. And now the fourth path is Q one going at the input of the same flop, and the fifth path is Q one going at the input of the last flop. and the last path is q2 going at the input of the same flop but i have marked the one which is critical path because it has most of the combination logic path in it or you can say the maximum combination logic path delay is involved in this path now let us try to see what will be the minimum time period of operation for this design as we already discussed multiple times t minimum will be greater than tcq of this first flop then it is coming to and gate so delay of and gate plus delay of xor gate plus setup time of this last flip flop and the values are given in these two tables tcq is 5 nanosecond plus delay of and gate delay of and gate is 2 nanosecond plus delay of xor gate which is 4 nanosecond plus setup time of the flip flop setup time of flip flop is 3 nanosecond add them together you will get 40 nanosecond so the minimum time period of operation should always be greater than 40 nanosecond and now let us try to compute f maximum that is frequency of operation it will always be less than 1 by t minimum which is equal to 1 by 40 nanosecond and f maximum will come out to be 71.42 megahertz so the frequency of operation will be always less than 71.42 megahertz and friends if this condition is met that is if i'm applying a frequency to this design which is less than 71.42 megahertz there will be no setup violation in this design and functionality wise also this design will work correctly and what is asked in the question so i asked you in the question will this design work at 68 megahertz yes definitely this design will work at 68 megahertz because the maximum frequency of operation is 71.42 megahertz and 68 is quite less than that so there is no problem now i am going to tell you something very important that is called slack so what will be the slack for this design so slack will be equal to the expected value that is the time period of 68 megahertz that is 14.7 minus the actual time period that is 14 So 0.7 will be our slack, and which is positive. So when slack is positive, that means there will not be a violation. So far, so good. But this is not all. We have to do whole time violation analysis as well, because that is equally important. Now let us try to do whole time violation check. And for whole time violation check, I have marked the critical path. 
and for whole time violations we need to choose a path which has least combination logic path delays and out of these six register to register paths i have determined that the marked one has the least combination logic path delay friends for this design to work without whole time violations whole time of this flip flop should be less than tcq plus t not and we have discussed this equation multiple times but those who want to know more about the whole time and whole time violation and about this equation i have created a separate video and i will share its link in the description section as well as in the i bar you can go through it now let us try to see what is tcq plus t not tcq plus t not tcq of this flip flop is equal to 5 nanosecond 5 nanosecond plus t not t not is a delay of this not gate which is fixed and the delay of this not gate is 1 nanosecond plus 1 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 nanosecond and now let us see what is the whole time requirement of this flip flop whole time requirement of this flip flop is 6.5 nanosecond now let us try to see whether this condition is met or not whole time is 6.5 and tcq plus t naught is 6 this equation is violated so definitely there will be hold violation in this path and what will be the slack 6 minus 6.5 which will be minus 0.5 nanosecond and slack is negative here so negative slack means there will always be a hold violation friends unfortunately this design is not going to work because this has a prominent hold time violation and as we discussed multiple time this hold time violation is not dependent on the clock frequency this will always remain till we don't change the design even if we reduce the frequency further it is not going to resolve this will still exist and our design will not work so as a conclusion design will not work as it has a hold time violation Friends, now I want to share something very important and very informative. As I promised in the beginning of the video, the way we did analysis for setup violation or hold time violation, in the same way timing tools will do setup and hold time violation analysis. And to do so, we need to give period constraint to the timing tool. Friends, this period constraint is very basic and very important constraint that is used in static timing analysis. This period constraint is given as an input to the timing tool for setup time and hold time violation checks. Friends, now I want to share something very informative about period constraint. So when we give period constraint as an input to the timing tool, the timing tool will analyze all the paths, almost the similar way we did in this video. And the very important thing, the timing tool will categorize all the paths as setup paths or hold paths. Now I will tell you briefly what are setup paths and hold paths. Friends, as we discussed that there are total six register to register paths. And if we talk about setup paths and hold paths, all the six register to register paths are included in the list of setup paths and hold paths. Friends, if all the paths are included in setup and hold path list, then what will be the difference? The difference will be their ordering. The path that is included on the top of setup path list will be the critical path for setup time violation checks. And the path that is included on the top of hold path list will be the critical path for hold time violation checks. Friends, all the register to register paths are included in setup path list, but in an order that they are important for setup time violation checks. And in the same way, all the register to register paths are included in hold path list, but in an order that they are important for hold time violation checks. Friends, in this video, I already demonstrated and determined the critical path for setup time violation and hold time violation. And in the same way, timing tool will analyze all the paths and will find out the critical path for setup time and hold time violation analysis and will put them on the top of both setup and whole path list. Friends, in the similar way, the timing tool will put all the other paths in both the lists for setup and whole time violation checks. So once both the lists are created, then the timing tool will report slack for every path as we did in our example. If slack is inactive in either setup or whole path, then we have to analyze those paths. 
Friends, with this, I'm going to end this video and I hope that this video would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And to get the notification of all the upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.